Good morning. We're back again. So yesterday's walk back from the Blue Jays game, I happened to notice a little section called Graffiti Alley, and you know that piqued my interest. So figured we'd come along this morning uh, before breakfast and check it out. So I hear that now all this has been legalized. They're not going to clean any of it up. It used to be an area to where people came and did illegal graffiti. And I guess the city of Toronto has just accepted the fact that they have no control over what happens. <laughs> so this is right here in the Chinatown part of Toronto. We're right off of Spadina Avenue. Yeah. See why it's got the moniker Graffiti Alley. It's also a transversible alley. So we got people coming up behind us right now. Wow. Amazing artwork here. <laughs> Speaking of Egg Bay, they must be trying to tell me something. Is that Aaliyah? Let's keep it moving. Ooh. You know I love the ivy. Damn. It's a nice little spot. So this makes a little covering here. Hello, kitty. Just keeps going. Isn't that nice of the city of Toronto? Got Queen over there, West Queen Street. Got a nice one. And check it out, in the middle of all this chaos, got a little cool community garden. Oh, yes. And I'd imagine all the residents around here can pitch in have a little plot to grow whatever they need to grow. Pretty cool. They have a rainwater collection. So it's pretty green, a little setup here. Nice. I dig it. Not sure who these two gentlemen are. I'd imagine somebody from Canadian culture. RIP anyway, gentlemen. Got a little heavy equipment coming behind us.
Man, really liking this alley. Really reminded me of home. You know, I gave Richmond the other moniker of Graffiti City, and this one rivals. I mean, look at this Jaws one. Amazing. So we're gonna keep it moving. That was Graffiti Alley. I mean, hope these videos show just how beautiful it is in person. I mean, as far as I stated that Toronto has some clean streets. I mean, this alley's a little, a little funky, but what do you expect? It's an alley in Toronto, fourth biggest city in the Northern Hemisphere, I believe, in the Western Hemisphere. I believe it goes New York, LA, Mexico City, and then Toronto. So, been to Chicago, biggest city I've been to before now, and we got a new one. So, we're gonna keep on with this Chinatown tour and go have some breakfast. Let's do it. Coming back into Chinatown, and you see the gates. Egg Bay, here we come. Ooh. That's Dragon City Mall. We'll do a little mall tour later on. Can't wait for that one. All right, this is Chung Chung. Gonna try this one out later, another day. But for now, it's all about the bay, Egg Bay. Check this one out online before I came here and it looked really good, so let's give it a shot. How are you today? Yeah, Pretty good. So this is Egg Bay. Really cute, really quaint. Keeping with the egg theme. Ah, told you. That graffiti alley was speaking to me. Looking forward to this one. Let's get it. All right, breakfast time. So we went on ahead and got the A Bay Bay, little hash brown. So this one has the soft scrambled eggs, arugula, tomato, cured bacon and their famous own um, special little bay sauce. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm pretty excited. So let's give Egg Bay a try. Nice little package in. It's a nice mix of flavors. I think the base sauce is kind of like an Asian ketchup, like an aioli blend. Really tasty. That brown kind of just looks like a McDonald's hash brown. They're always good. Mm. So egg base so far. Got my approval. Can't see it changing. Let's take a bite too and see. That's it, that's a winner. And that's egg bay. So, I had to take it along, but it's time to do this breakfast thing. This will feel for the day. We got a long one ahead of us. All right, see you later.